reports circulating about a passionate romance between O.J. Simpson and Kris Jenner. I answered the phone and it was a call from jail. It was O.J. O.J. Simpson, accused of brutally slaughtering his ex-wife, Nicole Simpson, Chris's best friend. I will always feel guilty. Some people think, like, you might be Khloe Kardashian's real dad. I always thought Chris was a cute girl. Did O.J. ever try to reach out to you at all? My loyalty was with Nicole and her family. It seems the Kardashian-Jenner family could be in the midst of their most significant scandal yet. Rumors suggest that recent events surrounding O.J. Simpson's passing have unearthed shocking revelations implicating Kris Jenner in a Hollywood-shaking crime. Gossip Mill whispers hint at a letter supposedly written by O.J. before his death alleging Kris Jenner's involvement in the murder of Nicole Brown, O.J.'s ex-wife. I was coming back from taking the kids to school and um, I was supposed to meet Nicole. She and I were supposed to have lunch. She said she wanted to show me some things and talk about what was in her safe. Well, I was gonna change and go meet her. Her mom called me. I picked up the phone and she actually said, Nicole's been shot. I said, okay, I'm on my way, where do I go? And she said, no, she, she didn't make it. O.J. Simpson accused of killing his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. That's probably what she wanted to reveal to me, which broke my heart. I will always feel guilty that I didn't pay more attention. In the letter, O.J. reportedly details how his relationship with Chris was the primary cause of his tumultuous relationship with Nicole, ultimately leading to her tragic demise. If these rumors are true, it could spell disaster for Kris Jenner and the entire Kardashian-Jenner clan. Facing allegations of involvement in such a high-profile crime would undoubtedly tarnish their reputation and could have serious legal consequences. O.J. Simpson was once considered Kris Jenner's best friend alongside his late wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. The Kardashian family has a long history with O.J. Simpson that began long before his double murder trial. The former athlete, who died at age 76 on April 10th, became best friends with famed attorney Robert Kardashian Sr. after the pair met in college. Through marriage, Robert Sr.'s eventual ex-wife, Kris Jenner, also became one of OJ's best friends. She previously stated that she was also the best friend of OJ's then-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. The Kardashian kids even referred to them as auntie and uncle. At the height of the family's friendship, that relationship didn't last forever, at least not for Jenner. When O.J. was accused of murdering Nicole and her friend Ronald Goldman, Jenner took the side of her deceased friend. Meanwhile, Jenner's husband, Robert Sr., went on to represent Simpson in his double murder trial. Right before the trial started, Robert sat down and wrote us a handwritten letter and just said, Look, I know you don't agree with what is going down here, but this is what I have to do for my friend. Jenner said, while appearing on a 2009 episode of Dr. Phil, he believed in what he was doing and he was asking us for his support. The murder trial seemingly divided the Kardashian-Jenner family, with Jenner even sitting on Nicole's side of the courtroom while her husband served for the defense. O.J. was acquitted of the charges, though he was found liable for the deaths and paid out millions to the victims' families. Kim Kardashian, who is now pursuing her own law career, remember taking her father's side during the trial. While mom Jenner wrote in her 2011 memoir, Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian, that Nicole had detailed years of physical abuse by OJ to her so she could act as a witness if needed in the future. We just always thought my dad was the smartest person in the world and he really believed in his friend. Kim told Rolling Stone in 2015, though OJ was acquitted of the double murder, he spent nine years in prison starting in 2008 after he was charged with armed robbery and kidnapping. He was released on parole in 2017 after serving the minimum time. The relationship between the Kardashian family and OJ dissolved following the trial and Robert Sr.'s death, but their names have remained intertwined in the media. Jenner has previously denied rumors that she had an affair with OJ. Some rumors even went so far as to allege that OJ is Khloe Kardashian's true father. Fans have become fixated on the theory that Khloe Kardashian's biological father might be someone other than the late Robert Kardashian. Over time, there has been much speculation surrounding the Kardashian-Jenner family, particularly regarding Khloe's paternity. This speculation is often fueled by the noticeable differences in Khloe's physical appearance compared to her siblings. She has lighter skin, curlier natural hair, and distinct facial features standing significantly taller at 5'10 inches compared to her sisters, Courtney at 5 and 1 inch and Kim at 5'3". 
While the sisters appear more alike today, Chloe has openly discussed undergoing facial procedures and using fillers. In childhood photos of the Kardashians, Chloe stands out, appearing more like a family friend than a sibling. Notably, Chloe looks different from the rest of her famous family. Adding to the intrigue, her mother, Kris Jenner, has admitted to being unfaithful to her husband, Robert Kardashian, the father of Courtney, Kim, Robert, and potentially Chloe. Chris wrote about her infidelity in her 2011 memoir, Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian, revealing that she cheated on her husband, Robert Kardashian Sr., in 1989. Despite the affair occurring five years after Chloe was born, fans have speculated that it's possible Chris could have been unfaithful around the time of Chloe's conception. Ever since my book came out, people have been coming out of the woodwork with false accusations like Robert Kardashian's ex-wives accusing me of not being faithful when Chloe was conceived. Not true. Chloe has been feeling particularly down due to her relationship with Tristan Thompson, who has cheated on her multiple times. In case you missed it, Chris had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Chloe to discuss Tristan's infidelity, which left Chloe feeling defensive and uncomfortable. Essentially, Chris expressed during their conversation that she was concerned Chloe might regret not giving Tristan another chance, despite his repeated indiscretions. Most famously, Tristan publicly expressed regret to Chloe last year for causing her heartbreak and humiliation following revelations that he fathered a child outside of their relationship. Later, it was revealed that Chloe and Tristan were secretly engaged and preparing to welcome another child via surrogate. Chris is encouraging Chloe to reconsider giving Tristan another chance, while Chloe acknowledges that Tristan has positive qualities. However, she struggles with the idea of forgiving someone who has treated her so poorly. Chloe then confronts her mother about her own infidelity to Robert Kardashian, questioning what her mindset was during that time. If you're going to be devastated, then why'd you do what you did? I don't think... I don't think what he was What was thinking. mindset when you cheated? You're asking me? Who the f else am I talking to? Chris then proceeds to explain that cheating on Robert Kardashian Sr. was her greatest life regret. I don't know, because he was such a great husband and such a great dad, and I think that I fell into a situation where I thought that the grass was greener somewhere else. And I made a huge mistake. I'm, that's like my life's biggest regret. You can feel the guilt emanating from Chris as she clearly understands that her own infidelity has deeply affected Chloe, especially as it added fuel to the paternity scandal. Chris has been attempting to rectify this for a few years now, urging Chloe to undergo a paternity test to put an end to the rumors once and for all. However, Chloe has consistently refused, asserting that she doesn't care about public opinion and that, in her eyes, Robert Kardashian is and always will be her father. My dad is Robert Kardashian. My other dad is Bruce Jenner. If you f***ed other people during the same time and you do not know, go on Maury. Like, I don't care. While everyone has the right to make their own decisions, fans have speculated about Chloe's resistance to undergoing a DNA test, suggesting that she may be avoiding discovering that she's not biologically a Kardashian. This speculation arises from the abundance of candidates speculated to be Chloe's biological father, with two prominent names being Alex Rowland and O.J. Simpson. Alex Rowland, Kris Jenner's former hairstylist, had a close relationship with the family, and some fans believe that Chloe bears a striking resemblance to him. Additionally, Rowland's height surpasses that of the late Robert Kardashian, who was 5'7", potentially explaining Chloe's taller stature. However, it's worth noting that Robert Kardashian Jr. stands at 6'1", taller than both of his parents, rendering these claims circumstantial. At one point, Kylie Jenner jokingly posted a photo of Chloe and Alex on Instagram with the caption, first official photo of my sister and her dad, which was clearly meant to be humorous. If there were any truth behind the claim, Momager Chris would have promptly intervened. There have also been numerous claims suggesting that O.J. Simpson is Khloe Kardashian's biological father. For context, O.J. Simpson and Robert Kardashian first met in 1967 and reconnected through a mutual friend while Robert was a lawyer and O.J. was playing for the Buffalo Bills. Kris Jenner met O.J. through Robert and developed a close friendship with O.J.'s second wife, Nicole Brown. The two couples were extremely close, and their children even referred to O.J. as Uncle O.J., 
Rumors have circulated that Chris and OJ were more than just friends and may have crossed the line of friendship around the time Chloe was conceived. Some fans believe that Chloe bears a resemblance to OJ, and others have pointed out similarities between Chloe and OJ's daughter, Sydney. When OJ Simpson, the Lost Confession, premiered on Fox back in March, fans couldn't help but notice the resemblance between Chloe and Sydney. Some fans were so convinced that they even speculated that Chloe and Sydney were siblings. However, some fans are skeptical of this theory, questioning whether Chris would truly betray a friend like OJ by crossing such a boundary. OJ himself has refuted the rumors, stating that anyone who thinks otherwise is mistaken. At one point, OJ's manager, Norman Pardo, claimed that OJ and Chris had an affair. However, OJ countered this claim by stating that Norman wasn't even his manager at the time when this false assertion was made. Another person who attempted to push this narrative was Robert's second wife, Ellen. Ellen claimed that Robert believed he wasn't Chloe's biological father and allegedly confessed this before he passed away from pancreatic cancer. Many people were skeptical of Ellen's claims, especially since they were made shortly after she declared bankruptcy. Despite these rumors, Chris has made efforts to address the situation. She convinced all of the Kardashian-Jenner children to undergo a 23andMe DNA test to learn more about their genetic backgrounds. During the review of their test results, Chloe confirmed that she has Middle Eastern DNA, which aligns with her father, Robert Kardashian, who was of Armenian descent. The Uclomo. 58% Euro, 41.6 Middle Eastern. You are my sister! Oh my god, we are sisters. Oh, and then I'm 1%. Thank god, if you weren't Middle Eastern at all, we would take trouble. <laughs> However, the guilt still lingers with Kris Jenner, and there seems to be an urge to prove that she did not cheat around the time Chloe was born, affirming that Chloe is indeed Robert Kardashian's biological daughter. On an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chris appeared to backtrack a bit, attempting to dispel the speculation. She made some intriguing comments about Chloe's son Tatum, whom she shares with Tristan Thompson. Tatum was born via surrogate last July, and since Chloe shared the first photos of him, fans have been commenting on how much he resembles her younger brother, Rob Kardashian Jr. Kris Jenner mentioned that she gets unnerved by how much Tatum resembles her ex-husband, Robert Kardashian Sr. Chloe, this is the spitting image of your dad and your brother. It's freaking me out. Ah, Tatum? Tatum is Robert Kardashian Sr. He is my ex-husband. Chris then says something quite intriguing. She mentions that the DNA is real and glances off to the side, a gesture that some might interpret as a verbal cue indicating dishonesty. I look through those eyes and I see his little soul and I can just, yep, there he is. The DNA is real. It's hard to say for certain what Kris Jenner's intentions are or whether Chloe's biological father is Robert Kardashian. The rumors and speculation surrounding this topic have been ongoing for years, and it's understandable that both Chris and Chloe may want to address or dispel them. Ultimately, the truth of Chloe's paternity is a private matter for the family. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.